In this video, I'm going to give a basic overview of the user guide that's available for your Acurio Press. This is a HTML manual available online. In this case, we're looking at the Acurio Press C3080 family. There are also guides available for the C6100, C14000, the black and white C6136, as well as some of the older series of equipment that are still in use today. There will be a link to some of those manuals in the description below this video. To start with, I'm just going to give a basic overview of some of the functionality, some of the information that's available within this guide. This is not going to be an exhaustive investigation into everything that's available within the help guide. I'm going to start by looking at about this machine. When I open that section up, I've got sections within here. If, for example, I look at basic usage, perhaps loading paper, we can see on this page it doesn't look like there's much information, but there are a couple of links. If I click on the loading paper link, it brings up a sub page that gives me information on loading paper into some of the various types of paper sources that are available for your machine. Also, some information about loading tabs, loading different sizes of paper. If I open up one of these paper feed unit guides, I can look and see it discusses how to set the guides, how to place the paper in there, how to make the proper settings for it. If I look at about loading tab paper, it talks about the different places I can load it. If I select one of these, it will tell me how that paper gets loaded into the tray and some information about that. If I scroll down, and we'll look at the option specifications for a second. If I choose, for example, the output option and we'll choose the saddle stitcher. Within these, it gives me first a list of here's the different functions that that unit can perform. On some of these, you'll see that it lists a name and a model number. Generally, these items that have a model number next to them are options that can be installed into these accessories. Your unit may or may not have those options installed. If we come down past that, we've got information about each one of those functionalities, what some of the specifications are for paper sizes that can be used, paper weights that can be used, information about the number of sheets that can go into some of those operations. And from here, we will go back to the home screen. On the home screen, I'm going to open up the print section. Within the print section, you'll see that it lists a lot of other sub options within here. Most of the information that you will find in here relate to the Konica Minolta print controller. The information about the Fiery and or Creo print controllers that may be available for your device are going to be provided by those manufacturers. In this case, if I come down and look at the settings in the print driver, I'll see my PostScript plug-in driver. This is the most common print driver used for the Konica Minolta controller. Opening this up, I can see some of the different sections that are available within that print driver. If, for example, I choose the layout screen, you can see that it shows the print driver and the functionality that's available from each one of the options in there. In some of these sections, you'll see that it gives me some details that I can go in and look if I don't understand exactly what that section is talking about. For example, when I'm looking at making a booklet, if I'm not familiar with what I should start out with and what I get to, then these sections will help. Go back to the home screen. The next section I'll take a minute on is the adjustment section. Within the adjustment section, you can see that there are adjustments for the machine, adjustments for some of the finishing options that can be made, an adjustment for some of the other accessories. If I open up one and go into the menu it will show for example on package color auto adjust it gives me the screens and the description to be able to go through and set the parameters for that these links typically connect you to a section lower in this same file where it talks about different aspects of making those adjustments back at the home screen I've got a search box I can search for various information that I want to go to directly without having to discover it in the menus. In this case, I want to take a look at the form screen. We'll see here that it shows me information about the form screen. 
As I scroll through this, there's information here for details on storing a form. That brings up a submenu that takes me in and explains not only information about how to store forms, but information about how those forms are going to be used and applied in different situations. Coming back to the home screen again, you'll notice on the right hand side I've got a troubleshooting link. So you can go through and find resolutions to some of the common problems that you may see displayed as error messages on your machine. At the bottom of the left hand side you'll see links to useful software here. These are for the most part Konica Minolta utilities that apply to the Konica Minolta print controller. If you have a machine configured with the Konica Minolta print controller, these links can provide you useful information for those utilities.